What's going on guys? This is Joe from Total Justice Gaming here. We are doing yet another deck profile. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a Hero World Superhero build. Uh, my buddy is Gravity Battler Armor G-Force. Uh, I picked him as the buddy because he reminds me of an old anime I used to watch called Tekaman. Not to mention his ability is actually not too bad. Uh, this is can be used, and I'm going to be up front with you guys, this is a teaching deck I use. Uh, this is not in any way going to ever be competitive. Uh, this is purely a fun deck. Uh, a completely BS Locals deck you can guys run and you guys can teach if they want to know about Hero World or just help them learn Buddy Fight in general. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into it. So this is a superhero deck, so we made this half superhero and mostly Rescue Dragon, even though, yes, Rescue Dragons are heroes. So first off, running three Night Stalkers. Uh, pretty respectable size zero to two one two. Uh, he's bland and blank, so we are just gonna move right on. Uh, next up, we are running Rescue Dragon Doctor Aid. Uh, if you have another superhero on the field, whenever uh, a superhero on the field destroys an opposing monster, you gain life, so he lets you get life back. And he's decent at a three one three. He's not really meant to attack. Um, he's just there to give other superheroes uh, the ability to gain a life once per turn. Uh, next up, we are running three Rescue Dragon, Northern Bard. Uh, at a 3-2-3, three, three, he's also okay for a size 1. I would like higher stats, but most of the Rescue Dragons have a decent crit of at least 2. Uh, he lets you have move, can't be called to the center. Uh, and if you have a rescue dragon on your field... Uh, okay, so he gets moved if you have a rescue dragon on the field. Uh, up next, we got... Rescue dragon Mock Braver. Uh, he is a... 1-1-4. One, one, he is not meant to attack. He is meant to redirect attacks to him at the last moment. So he's counter-activate during an attack on your opponent's turn. Pay one gauge if you do call this from your hand to your center. And change the target of the attack to this card. That last part's really important because there are other monsters I've seen that can come into play at the last moment. But don't redirect. Uh, and redirecting the attack is very, very important. Especially if we have a lot of stuff that says deal with your opponent. Or uh, deal damage. You can redirect it to him. So we go from there. Since we are transforming in this deck... We are running three Project Gunner. We can pitch him to gain uh, two gauge. Uh, so long as we are transformed, our goal is to always transform as quickly as possible in this deck. So we run three of him for gauge. Uh, we run four Rescue Dragon Transmission because he lets us go and dig in the discard pile for uh, the Rescue Dragons. Uh, three, two, three. Again, respectful for size one. When he enters the field, uh, you may pay one life. If you do, choose up to one card in your drop zone with Rescue Dragon in it and uh, from the drop zone, put it to your hand. So he tutors out the discard pile back to your hand. Uh, for twos, we're running Rescue Dragon, and I gotta read him. Uh, Dragon Sh Showbell? Uh, 525, five, he's good. Uh, pay gauge, when he enters the play, you can start his size two or less on the opponent's field. Plus, if you're transformed into a card, it deals a point of damage to the opponent. So, he gets rid of centers and burn, potentially burns the opponent for a point of damage. And has pretty decent stats. I mean, they're the typical 5-2-5 five, five you'll see on a size 2. Uh, next up, we are running four of the buddy. Uh, Gravity, D, Gravity Battle Armor G-Force. Call cost is pay gauge. Uh, all monsters in the opponent's field cannot move and cannot be returned to hand. Uh, if you are transformed into this card, all cards on your opponent's field get minus 2,000 defense. And his transform cost is pay gauge, pay a life. So this prevents moves. This prevents uh, some goofiness with certain decks. Like Forward's Magic World, he can't bounce things back to his hand to avoid combat because they're stuck down to the field. It also gives everything minus 2,000 defense, which means you can hit targets easier. Since a lot of our uh, superheroes and rescue dragons don't have that high of attack, he's really, really needed for the deck. 
Uh, so he is definitely the buddy. Not to mention, since he's the buddy, you gain the life you pay to transform into him, so he will only cost a gauge. Running two Rescue Dragon Force Arms, because uh, we need big heavy beats, and with gravity uh, as the transform state, it means we get three attacks, and he gets to build up Soul Guard once per turn if he's left on the field. But I feel he's killed off pretty quickly. He always was when we uh, just piddled around and played the deck to teach some uh, new players. So he is an 827 uh, with an activated ability of uh, put a superhero from the drop zone into this card. Soul you can only do once per turn. So he can rack up soul, making him harder to kill. But usually the moment he hits the field, he's the prime target to get rid of or else he gets out of hand. Uh, finally, for monsters, we are going to be running three of the Cat and Apton Impact Monsters. The another answer. Uh, at a 7-2-5, use uh, three gauge and put a superhero from the field from this card into your drop zone. Uh, so he's got a sack of monster to come into play. And then activate during your turn, uh, declare a monster a spell, put the top card of your deck into the drop zone. If it's a card type, you can uh, put the card that was milled into your hand and destroy a monster of the opponent's field. Uh, and for this turn, the Cat and Answer gets double attack. He also has impact transform, so he can, you can also transform into him. Uh, pay three gauge and uh, put a card you're transformed into into your drop zone. So you've already got to be transformed into uh, gravity to go into him. Uh, we just put him in because decent stats, uh, this typical Captain Answer ability of double attack and field control. Uh, his call cost is really high. His impact is just as equally high. Again, we just stuck him in there because we wanted to teach with the most current meta available, which, of course, was the impact monster meta. So we stuck him out of three of. I actually would have preferred to keep four dragon four, dragon arm or force arms in the deck, but, you know, we, the census is a teaching deck. We had to put as much of encompassing information in the deck as possible to help new players get acclimated to the game. So for um, spells, we are running, of course, four I've seen through your moves. Uh, ne attack Negator. We are running uh, four Just Will Prevail. Uh, this lets me get uh, my buddy up to a. 7-8, which is very decent numbers. He gets a counterattack, uh, gets the majority of the dragon uh, rescue dragons up to at least a 6-6, six, six, which is okay. Uh, we are just running three copies of that. Uh, next up, we're running three copies of... This is an after image. Um, this is the typical if it were to be destroyed and said it's not card. So we're just running three of that for defense. Uh, we're running two. It's about time I got serious. Pay gauge, draw two. Only if you're at six life or less. Uh, to help protect your transformations from uh, fuel clearing, since neither uh, G Force nor Captain Answer says it can't be destroyed, we are running two. Activate barrier. This is a set spell that says if a your card you're transformed into would be destroyed, destroy this card instead. So they got to put some extra effort. Uh, two hyper energy. Uh, just for gauge, because Captain Answer and Force Arms does cost quite a bit. And then two or so the Dream I Had went, which is Spell Negation for the cost of two gauge. And that is the deck. So, guys, again, thanks for watching. I know this is not the best deck, but this is one of my teaching decks I help uh, teach new players at Locals for. Uh, I am predominantly Hero World, so they'll get to see what my world is like right off the bat. Uh, it gives them a pretty clear idea. Um... Again, you're not going to see this topping locals. You're not going to be seeing me play this much. This is a learning deck. This is a deck I can, can definitely recommend that if you like it, go build it. It's great to get new players into the game. It's got cool-looking cards. Uh, it's just fun. So, again, guys, thanks for watching so much. Uh, please like and subscribe. We are working really hard to bring you guys... Uh, Buddy fight five days a week, be they match profiles, match prof match videos or profile videos. Thank you again so much for watching.